Today I'm going to share with you a really quick video that is about skin cancer. I found a really fantastic video that is only two minutes long. I reached out to the creator of this video who is actually a doctor. His name is Dr. Lewenda. I will actually put his information in the description box as well as a link to the original video if you want to check it out that way. Check out the channel, etc. I do hope you will watch this video through. I hope you will share it with a friend. This is really, really crucial information and because May is Skin Cancer Awareness Month, and I am an esthetician, it is my job to nag you about this. So that is what I am going to do today. If you are new here, my name is Penny. I'm a master esthetician in Portland, Oregon. I'm super excited that you're here because I think this information could save someone's life. So I do hope you will subscribe before you go, and I will see you on the other side of this quick two-minute video. This is Dr. Brian Lewenda from the Northwest Cancer Clinic. If you notice anything new or changing, on your skin, let your primary care physician or your dermatology specialist know today. Many of them are doing telehealth visits, so you may not even need to come into the office for an evaluation. If you're looking for anything that appears new or is changing over time or just simply looks weird. The most common type of skin cancer is a basal cell carcinoma. These are typically found in sun exposed areas. Squamous cell carcinomas are the second most common type of skin cancer. They can look crusty, they may have ulceration or bleeding, they may even have scabbing. Many of us have moles, and some of them could be concerning for potentially being melanoma. Let's go through some of the signs and symptoms of melanoma. First, asymmetry, border irregularity, Differences in coloration or size greater than the size of a pencil eraser or any skin lesion that's changing over time. This is why you need to do a routine self-examination of your skin. I recommend once a month get a full-length mirror. This way you can see difficult areas. Look at your hands, the top, the bottom, look in between the fingers, look at the nail beds, look at your back, your legs, look at your feet in between your toes, look again, look at the nail beds, use a handheld mirror to find uh, lesions that possibly could be hiding in difficult locations to see, and maybe even get somebody to help you. So if you see anything that's changing or unusual, contact your primary care physician or your dermatology specialist today. I have a couple of other tips that have served me well over the years. Number one, I suggest taking pictures. If you are somebody who has a lot of freckles or you have a lot of moles and you are just not sure what is where and when it changes, if you take some pictures of things, especially if you think they might be changing, a picture will really help you to, um, you know, just to assess change over time. Another tip that I have is, if you wear nail polish and toenail polish, whether you put it on at home or you get it done in a salon, when that nail polish comes off, you wanna look at your nail beds and you wanna look at your toe nail beds also. Look for any evidence of black. If there's any black in your nail beds, that's something to get checked out. If there's a line of black, definitely wanna get that checked out. The sooner that you get any suspected you know, issues checked out, the better. Early detection is key, just like with all cancers. It is really, really important to catch it as early as possible. And so what that means is you gotta look. You gotta look for this stuff. The other thing is if you do go in salon and get your nails done and you get one of the types of like gel polish or anything that has to be cured in a light, you wanna put some sunscreen on your hands before you put your hands in those UV lights or you can always wear UV protective gloves that leave the fingertips out before you put your hands into those UV light curing little uh, lamps. Now that's actually twofold. That's great for protecting you against skin cancers, but it's also really great for protecting you against uh, age spots and other things that are related to UV damage. So I definitely recommend doing something to protect your hands if you go and get your nails done in salon. Of course, the biggest tip that I can give you is to 
always wear sunscreen. You want to wear sunscreen every single day, no matter what the weather is, to protect yourself from UV damage. It is not all about aesthetics. It's absolutely also about skin cancer first and foremost. And then lastly, check out the videos that I have in the description box on what to watch next because DNA repair can be extremely helpful when it comes to skin cancer as well. And I encourage you to watch my interview with Dr. Daniel Roche because it gives some helpful tips there as well. I do hope that you are having a wonderful day. I hope this video was helpful. I recommend sharing it with a friend who could use this information, which is basically everyone. And I will talk to you in my next skincare video. Take care.